really true you can text in these? Mm, sure, you can definitely text in these. Hmm. Let's see. Where did my phone go? Wait. I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look. Yo, what is up, TV to you? It is John's Vlogs, and today, today's back again with another video. And guys, it's Scripture Sunday every Sunday for you guys. I read a scripture every Sunday and I break it down so maybe you can help your day, your week, your month, your year, maybe even your life. And you can maybe like save it to a playlist or you know, screen record it, whatever you have to do. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you get something out of it today. And I have a little funny example, or I made a little skit on TikTok for you guys so you can understand it but anyway guys today's scripture comes from philippians 4 7 but before i get into the video guys okay so basically i was gonna upload a vlog this week i was gonna upload it friday but for some reason it wasn't letting me save out my phone and um because I, I think because the video was too long but it's a video that's been in the vault for a long time so <laughs> yeah i'm talking two months long I'm trying to get it out. I'm gonna see if i have to re-edit it or something like that but yeah guys we're gonna get right into the video so, without further ado, Philippians 4, 7, it says this, And the peace of God, which passeth, passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I'll say that again. Uh, Philippians 4, 7, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I haven't done this in a long time. I remember watching one of my videos. I forgot to say it, but it's time for me to break it down. <laughs> All right, you guys. So this is, I really like this scripture. It really, it really is comforting. You know, it really is a great scripture and it's very comforting. And, you know, in the NIV, the ERV, the EAMPC, and ASV, you know what? All the V's. If you don't know what that means, it means version. Key, uh, new, new international. I don't care. You know, all the versions, pretty much a lot of the versions of this scripture, it says the peace of God will guard will guard your hearts and minds. Your will guard your hearts and your minds. And that's what I want to talk about today. You saw in the title, Peace the Defender. I'll say it again. Peace the Defender. And it's I really wanted to talk about that because this scripture is basically saying that the peace of God will guard your hearts and minds. They will keep them safe. It's like a protective thing. Just think about this way. It's like a protective shield around your mind. That's what the peace of God does. And like I said, it's like a guard and peace is like a security guard. You know, you may walk into a museum. You may walk into uh just think about the White House, right? The White House. They have so many guards. They're not gonna they have have, maybe you may you may know the ones that you can see but they don't have they also have ones that you can't see they have it all around think about that as peace peace is like the security guards around the white house the peace is guarding your minds and that's the thing about it god's peace surpasses all understanding god's peace is different from the world's the world's peace you may world's peace is labeled as yoga the world's peace is labeled as alcohol all that stuff just peace that lasts as, as temporary temporarily but god's peace lasts forever and the very unique thing about god's peace is that it keeps you calm in the middle of a storm as you can see guys it is cloudy and it rains i think it, it, it rained last night i'm pretty sure but you know it rained pretty much but god's peace it can keep you calm in the middle of a storm. That's what's so cool. It's like, bro, it's so in the middle of a chaotic situation in your life. You may be going through chaotic, chaotic situation in your life right now, but God's peace will guard your mind. God's peace will guide your heart. And see, what it does is what happens when God's peace guards your mind and your heart, your life starts to reflect it. Your life starts to reflect it. So when the peace of God uh, guards your heart, or Bro, whatever. When God's peace guards your heart and when God's peace guards your mind, it reflects your life. It starts to flow in your life. Peace starts to flow inside your life. And you know, actually, let me skip over here so I can get in the frame because I don't want to be like all the way over here and it's like, okay. Anyway, so basically, Jesus actually showed up. The Messiah, Jesus Christ, he actually showed that. There's a story in the Bible where there was a huge storm. A huge storm was waving and these people were in the boat. The disciples were in the boat and Jesus was sleeping. In the middle of a storm. Hold up. Wait a minute. He was sleeping in the middle of a storm. Can you can you believe that? Would you do that? Would you be sleeping in the middle of a storm? Imagine this. Imagine you're in a boat, right? A, like a, a wooden boat. And you're in there. And it's just it's 
the thunders crackling, the, the lightning is going everywhere. It's just wavy and everything. And you're in the middle of a boat and you're in the middle of that and Jesus is sleeping. What would you do? What would you do? But Jesus was sleeping and that is reflecting the peace of God who patched all of the standing. The disciples were like, how in the world can this, how in the world can Jesus sleep in the middle of this chaotic storm? Well, it was a peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Jesus brought that peace that surpasses all understanding on that boat. And I say this to my mom a lot. I say, um, you can be peaceful. You you can be peaceful in the middle of a storm like a koala on a hot summer day. <laughs> so that's what God's peace does. And that's the world's peace. They label it as the good times in life. So after the battles, after the trials, they say after that, then you have peace. Which is not true because God can have peace in your heart through the trial, through the battle, through the chaos. He can do that. It says it right here. God's peace will guard your hearts and minds. And the thing is, peace is tough. Peace is tough. You know what I mean? Peace is tough. It's there. Because when, when fear, anxiety, doubt, all that stuff, when it tries to come at you, it's already there to defend it. It's already ready to start punching. It's already ready to start, you know, fighting off the fear, fighting off the anxiety. You don't have to do it, but the peace of God will. And here's the example I made on TikTok um, on my Spiritual Space account. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little skit. Hey, 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 no, no, who are you? I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, I'm sure you weren't. I'm the piece of God that surpasses all understanding. Now scram. Here I'll go. Uh, 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 uh. Amy, I know you're not ready. I'm ready to dodge this out. What's up? Come on, come on. Yeah, you asked for it. Mm. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now get out of here. Will these guys ever understand? Ha, I got one too, bro. Ah! Uh, uh, what? Uh, how? How are you doing? Because I'm the peace of God. Uh. So just like that example of peace guarding the mind, it doesn't play around with fear. It doesn't play around, play around with doubt. It doesn't have a conversation with it. As you can see, it had no time to talk with it. Okay, so hey, just like it, it won't. It's not gonna be like this. How you doing, anxiety? Oh man, I'm good. I'm good. You mind if I come in here? No, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. Peace is already there to guard the heart and guard the mind and is ready to defend the person's mind. So yeah, guys, hope you hopefully you got some of that out of that today. If you did, remember, 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 before I get into all the in outro stuff, remember that the peace of God which passes all understanding will keep your hearts in mind. In other words, will guard your hearts and mind like a security guard. And if you want to check out that story about Jesus, I'll leave the link in the description below. I'm not going to say anything about it because I'm not 100% sure where it is, but I know it's, it's obviously in the Gospels. But I'll leave it in the description below if you want to check it out. Cue the outro music. So yeah, guys, hope you got something out of today. If you did, give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe. You don't have to. I'm not forcing you to. But you're always welcome to subscribe and join the team. And feel free to go check out my website, jobsbooks.com, and maybe go purchase a book. You may subscribe, but you're also family. You're gonna when you hit that subscribe, you may think that subscribe button is just a red button that you can just get notifications for. But no, when you subscribe to me, when you subscribe, you join the team NGU. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna try to get this vlog out this week. If not, I'll cre mix up some new creative, y'all. So yeah, guys, you, know, you subscribe with your awesome family. Stay positive. Stay happy. And remember, never give up. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Remember, the peace of God which passes all understanding will guard your heart and your mind. Peace.